Hi YouTubers, it's Fortune Cookie 45 LC. Let's get right to this to the topic for tonight, and that is we're gonna compare wax slugs for 12 gauge shotgun. Those are the ones on the right. Compare them with round ball lead slugs loaded on the left. Now the round ball lead slugs are a little bit over an ounce and the wax slugs contain a, a little bit less than an ounce of shot. So we see on the, on the YouTube how to make the wax slugs and that is we take the loaded birdshot rounds and we take paraffin wax like this is purchased in big five pound slabs ordinary paraffin wax and I like to heat the wax on the Coleman stove outdoors after doing ingots the trick is to have a bunch of these ready to go all ready to pour and then when we're done doing the ingots we just go ahead and put this two pound coffee can with the small pieces, smaller pieces of paraffin wax thrown in and a crayon to give it some color and we melt it on a low heat now if you melt it on a low heat and, and just, just get the wax melted until the last of the, of the hard wax becomes liquid the wax will never hit the flash point so that the the bursting into flames is minimized plus with a two pound coffee can you're not going to get a lot of fumes to, to ignite and you're outdoors if the fumes do ignite for some reason just put a hard object over the top and the flames will go out so it's actually pretty pretty safe to do it that way uh, you don't need a, a double burner a double boiler to uh, melt the wax. So then you go ahead and throw your shot in and let that warm up and make sure it's nice and liquid and then go ahead and and spoon it into your your shot shells and then smooth it off and you've got your wax slugs. That's in a nutshell but if you want to see it being done recommend that you go ahead and look at some of those other YouTube videos on the making of wax slugs because they're very good. So we're going to compare these wax slugs in performance with the one and one eighth ounce round ball lead slugs. Now the way you make these is first you have to make the round balls and the round balls are like this 69 caliber, 0 0.690 inch, cast of pure lead, no tin, no antimony, casted in the Lee 690 round ball mold. The Lee mold. So cast of a bunch of those out of the pure lead. The, uh, the x-ray lead is very good for that because it is pure lead. You don't need to waste tin and antimony on these round ball slugs. But what you do is you, you, get, you buy some of these wads, these yellow wads made by the downrange company. They're just the right height. And what you do is, is you take a pair of scissors and you shorten the petals by cutting them off so that the round ball sits in there and the petal comes right up to the hemisphere. Now, the reason why this works is because your bore in the 12 gauge either improved cylinder or cylinder bore will be at least 70 caliber whereas the, the, the lead round ball is 0 .690 and your bore is anywhere from 0.70 to 7 one inch which means you have room for the plastic so when this is loaded in the shell and it's fired it'll just slide right down the bore 
So you take your shot shells, and when you put this in your, your wad guide, you just go ahead and seat the whole thing at once on top of your powder charge, and then crimp as normal. So here's what you'll get. You'll get these nice crimped rounds. Either you use the Remington Premier or the Winchester AA, and you'll get a very nice crimp that will not open up on their own and you'll get a nice radius edge for feeding in your semi-autos and your pump action shotguns. However the wax slugs if you make sure that there's no no outward bending edge on here they'll, they'll feed okay They're, they they may hang up just a little bit but for, for the most part they, they feed. So here's a shotgun we're going to use it is the Chinese made UCN currently being imported by the Stevens Firearms Company which is a US company but they're importing this Chinese shotgun under the Stevens model 350 has ghost ring sights and this shotgun is is made as a direct copy of the Ithaca model 37 downward ejection slide action shotgun Cross bolt safety, slide release is right here. It's a reliable action because uh, the Ithaca Model 37 was used by many police forces for for quite a few years. But with the ghost ring sights, this is a nice shotgun. Uh, we're using it, we're going to use it to test at the range to test these wax slugs and the lead round ball lead slugs. So let's go to the range. At the range, we're going to uh, test the wax slugs compared to round ball 12 gauge lead slugs. So we have our Stevens Chinese made shotgun here, and we're going to load two rounds of the round ball 12 gauge lead slugs first, and follow that up with three rounds of the wax so the, the wax slugs will go through first. But my experience has been that the wax slugs aren't as accurate, but there's so much good, uh, good uh, reviews on the, on the wax slugs uh, on YouTube that I thought I'd give it a try again with this uh, different shotgun. So let's see how the accuracy is with it. So here we go. We're gonna load two lead slugs first, followed by the, by the three wax slugs. So for you who are concerned about the safety of, of wax slugs, they work very well. And the recoil on the, the wax slugs is not as heavy as with the 12 gauge round ball lead slugs, which actually weigh more than an ounce. But if you look at the lower target, that's the lead slugs. So that, that group's pretty tight at uh, 12 and a half yards. And then the, the top target in the middle is the wax slugs. And you see that it'll open up about twice as much. So the accuracy of the wax slugs at anything more than 25 yards would be questionable. 
Uh, in fact, even at 25 yards, they're going to be opening up quite a, quite a bit uh, more than we would like to see. So YouTubers out there, they're safe, they're good at close range, they're cheap, they're not hard to make, uh, but the accuracy is not exactly what we would like. We'll do another test with different chokes, uh, you know, just a little bit of choke, maybe improved cylinder, but this, is, this choke on this shotgun is cylinder bore. So maybe that's got something to do with the, the wax plugs not being that accurate. YouTubers out there, we're going to head out of the range.